Swipe my debit card, declines. Swipe my credit card, declines. Swipe my business card, declines. I wasn't even paying attention to what was going on with my accounts. Went to the bank and um, they, I'd never seen an overdrafted account. They turned my screens all red and my ears started ringing. And by this time, I'm deep in the throes of addiction. I mean, I'm literally just waking up to get the opiates every single day. Um, it was not a good move to be at that moment in my life. And um, when the manager came over, I started kind of a panic attack. And I remember the guy put his hand on the banker's shoulder. And he's like, he just whispered the words, you broke. Warrior Academy. Yeah. Give me some background on that. Where did that start? How did, how did you get that going? Yeah, so I, I left uh, the banking system in 2017 to go on this entrepreneurship journey, and it was definitely a path that I'd never traveled. Well, I'd traveled before, but it was a uh, it was tough, man. It was a tough journey, and I remember doing a video. Um, I was renting space in another company, another business, and I said, "I want to be a warrior in a modern day society." And be careful what you ask for. So God tested me, took everything from me, all my money, all my resources, and so. I feel in that essence, I became a warrior in a modern day society. So it transitioned from JV Impacts to 3T Fitness to the 3T Warrior Academy. And so the essence of becoming a warrior from the inside out. And so it's just, a, so the whole academy is evolving as we evolve as human beings. So that's how it started. So I said, I want to be a warrior in a modern day society. And God said, you're not battle tested yet. So <laughs> here we are, man. So it, it's you, a good you, thing to work on. You've been through a lot of shit though, man. I mean, yeah. you, I mean, suicide attempt. Um, I mean, I was, I was reading all about you and I mean, just uh, some dark, dark moments yeah. of your life. I mean, what does that feel like? And, you know, how, how do you, how do you explain getting to that low? Because I, again, for my mind, I can't even fathom. I mean, I, I'm like a lover of life, so yeah. I can't even fathom even yeah thinking of having a situation where it's that bad. So how bad is that? And, and, and how do you explain that? And maybe give me some insight. Yeah, of course it, it started. I mean, all the way back in childhood. I mean, I was, it was generally a happy kid and had a good life growing up. There was some stuff that happened to me, traumatic things that happened to me as a child that shouldn't happen to a child. And so those things, I didn't know that I had masked it with external circumstances. And so as I became older, I went in the military. Um, I didn't realize because of the trauma that I kind of su really suppressed heavily is that all the things I was doing in my very young adult age was for edification. And so I was looking for edification from the world. I was looking for to be seen. And the things that I chose were things that were going to give me that edification, but it never was enough. Right. And so when I got out of the military, I pursued a bodybuilding career. I thought I was, <laughs> thought I was, thought I was gonna be a famous actor and bodybuilder and that didn't work out too well, but here we are. And uh, so I went into that, that arena. And unfortunately there's a lot of a disappointment, a lot of, um, uh, you're looking, it's all about edification. It's all about your physical body. So everything was external. Um, and what happened was in, um, early, it was 2003, around 2002 to 2003, um, I ended up getting a, a leg injury. I tore my quad, a small tear on my quad. And so the doctor prescribed me an opiate. I, I was a clean cut dude, uh, you know, fitness mindset. I mean, I was, I was in it. I was really dedicated. And uh, I remember taking the first opiate for my leg injury. I remember the, I remember the underpass I was driving under on the freeway. And all of a sudden I got this euphoric feeling in my body. And I was like, wow. Whoa, wow. never felt anything like that. And so Scary. Went into went into a store and I was kind of opening up and I was able to communicate with people. I'm like, that's interesting. And I, it was supposed to be for my leg. And then the next day I took it, you know, during my, um, I was training for a bodybuilding show. So I was still going to do the show. So I, I went through with it. So I kept taking a pill a day and then a pill turned into two pills and then three pills and then four pills and then five pills. And then I became a full blown opiate addict, went from clean cut dude out of the military to uh, an opiate addict. And if anybody's ever experienced anybody in the throes of addiction, it not only was it fulfilling a gap inside of me um, in the wrong way, but it just kept taking me deeper and deeper down this rabbit hole. So mixed insecurity mixed with needing edification and now using a drug to provide that security and that uh, affirmation and edification, it just spiraled out of control. And so basically from 2003 to 2006, I just spiraled specifically 2005 to 2006. Um, I just, I was a full blown addict. I literally lost all sight of having a, I had a three year old, have a three year old daughter. She's 20 now. And um, I just lost all sight of reality. And so from July 2006 
I had about 65,000 in my bank account. I was, you know, still running a company, functional drug addict. And then my drug addiction just hit a rock bottom. And by December 18th, 2006, I was at Walmart uh, trying to buy presents for my daughter. Barely functional. I mean, I'm taking opiates and I'm doing a lot of other drugs at that point. And uh, swipe my debit card, declines. Swipe my credit card, declines. Swipe my business card, declines. I wasn't even paying attention to what was going on with my accounts. Went to the bank and... Um, they, I'd never seen an overdrafted account. They turned my screen, it was just all red. And my ears started ringing. And by this time, I'm deep in the throes of addiction. I mean, I'm literally just waking up to get the opiates every single day. Um, I was not a good human being in that moment in my life. And uh, I remember the manager came over. I started kind of a panic attack. And I remember the guy put his hand on the banker's shoulder. And he's like, he just whispered the words, you're broke. And I was like, and it just hit me. I'm like, I can't buy my drugs anymore. The whole scheme is up. People are going to know I'm an addict. My business is failing. And so unfortunately on that day, I went to my office and I loaded up a massive amount of opiates into a syringe. And um, I, interesting enough, prayed for the first time. I never had a spiritual connection, never been introduced to God or Jesus Christ or anything. And I I prayed right before I attempted suicide. I say committed because John Vasquez died in that moment. I woke up 48 hours later to a call from my mom on the Razor flip phone and the rest is history, man. So so you made, I, I literally, I'm getting the chills while you're telling the story. I mean, this is so powerful, you know, because I, I think may, maybe it's just in a way, I, I feel like I kind of won the lottery ticket in, in a way. I mean, although I did have challenges as a kid and, but I, I feel like for whatever reason, man, at 21 years old, I just started hanging out with people like you today, right? You're a, you know, you're obviously a completely different human being. And I started hanging out with a bunch of millionaire mentors and people that were successful and, 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 you know, building a great life. They were positive. They were motivating. They, you know, I, I was getting recognized all the time and, and my, my whole life changed, but I, I, I wonder, you know, had I not been in that environment what my life would have looked like. Cause I was a bad kid growing up mm. and who knows where I would have went and what direction I would have went to. And because it's, it's, it was in me to have, you know, certain things to want to build a, a great life. And if I wasn't introduced to that, who knows what would have happened. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here.